All right, my super fam. So, Zelenin, our cat girl, leopard, cheetah. I don't know how, how, how to call her, but she's basically finally here. Hopefully, you guys have been able to pull for her. Yesterday, I did manage to pull for her, but not without a cost. And finally, was able to build and actually test her out quite intensively, which is why we have today's video. We're going to be looking into basically going through all the possible DPS characters that can work with her and building technically the best team that runs with Zillinen for them. Because while well, that's basically how Zillinen works, she's kind of like, you know, the next Kazuha that can technically works in so many different team comps. Therefore, I really want to make a deep dive team building videos for you guys to kind of like a make a reference later on whenever you're building a specific specific character that can specifically work alongside with Zillinen. Zillinen is here and she's an amazing character that we all want to pull. But the god of Holyverse decided to bless me with Dia leaving me devastated. But thanks to Loot Bar, the goddess of Primo Gems, allowing me to top up at a discounted price, I finally managed to get Hello. Zillinen. So if you're planning to swipe for pulling, then don't forget to check out Loot Bar. If you know me, I've been recommending you guys Loot Bar before since you can always save almost a 20% on all of your top ups with over a hundred thousand orders and so many good reviews at this point you can be sure that loot bar is trustworthy here you can see my order receipts of all of my top ups that i have done so guys be sure to check out loot bar through the link in my description as it can be a great way for you to save your money especially if you are topping up a large amount Alright, so first off, I want to touch a bit on the importance notes before you guys build Zillinen and her team comps. But I won't be going through, you know, very much in depth into her specific build because that is safe for another video. And we're more just going to be focusing on Zillinen's teams here. But basically, in very simple terms, Zillinen is one of the best support character that we have in the game right now. Direct competition to, you know, technically Kazuya. I'll talk more about Kazuya in a bit. But she has the ability to resistant shred, pyro, electro, cryo, Geo, as well as Hydro, which is basically some of the most important element that we have in the game. Sadly, not Dendro at this point in time. But furthermore, the ability to actually resist and shred all of those elements at the same time, if you do have those characters on your team, is just very important. Uh, so rotation basically just comprises of you casting her E skill and then doing her two normal attack. And then you basically have all the resist and shred for the applied element, which is very, very easy. But on top of that, she also has access to healing, which is something that's technically rare for very good support character. Up until now, the character that do that the best has always been, you know, Bennett, who buffed your attack to a very high level, but also has access to very good healing as well. In some other cases, that goes to Kokomi as well, but then other than those two cases, most of the other healer don't really have access to good buffing, or, you know, like Kazuya, for example, I have access to very good buffing, but doesn't have access to healing, which makes their team build, you know, a little bit tougher at times. Now, her build is also very free to play friendly. You technically just need to slot in the Cinder City set and that's everything that you need on her like she does skills with defense but unless you're using her as a dps character the defense scaling is more just going to be her healing your team which is still quite important because many of the time she's going to be the sole healer on your team so yes defense building is still going to be there but it's not a requirement for you to build your defense because her buffing or resistant shred do not scale off of her defense which makes another thing that her weapon doesn't really need to be a defensive weapon as well you can just basically give her a Favonia sword which is already very good to support your team with energy regen level and that's also something of a more free to play Zillinen that you can go with but even so if you want to go with a defense sword yeah the Natlin craftable sword is a defense option that's very very good therefore Zillinen you don't actually need her signature but obviously if you do have her signature your team's going to be getting that extra 25.6% elemental damage bonus which is rather nice but in terms of a requirement or not it's definitely not a must have for Zillinen now as I mentioned she does have the option to be built as a DPS character because that's how her kit kind of allow her to do. But obviously, I don't think many of us are going to be going down that route because if you do want to go with that, she does require you to have more constellation investment for her to do actually good DPS numbers. Otherwise, if she is at C0 level, it's just going to be rather mediocre to be, you know, kind of like a good level if you're looking into the meta.
meta level. Now overall regarding to Zelina's team build, many of the team that she's going to be slotting in actually is going to be replacing Kazuya. Now overall that's going to be kind of like I would say a good thing because we have now kind of like an extra Kazuya that we have in the game similar to how you know before you had Sincho with it later on you have Yelan so I think Kazuya and Zelenin is rather in those kind of situation because Kazuya and Zelenin sometimes can be used on a same team so it's not always kind of like a thing where you have to compare Kazuya and Zelenin together unless you're replacing Kazuya in a Zelenin team when you're building a DPS character team but obviously whenever we're comparing them together generally Zelenin is going to be having better buffing than Kazuya I mean the resistant shred because Zelina's resistant shred is just too easy for her to trigger not to mention she can resistant shred all the applied element whenever you have your team members whereas unlike Kazuya he has to rely on very distant set and many of the time is only going to be him shredding one element because double swirling with four piece pv is actually rather hard if you don't do the rotations properly and also very distant resistant shred uptime is only around 10 seconds whereas Zelina has all the way up to a 15 second which makes it a lot easier not to mention the cinder city set as well she basically gives your main dps character an extra 40 percent damage bonus which is overall very nice sometimes if you really want to go hardcore you can actually get double damage buff from the cinder city set but overall it's kind of hard because the downside of zillinen is that she doesn't really have any off field geo application or any of that the only two main ways she's going to be applying geo for the elemental reaction is just through her e skill and her elemental burst reactions so overall one in the city buff is already more than good enough however Kazuya still has some of the things that he does a lot better than Zelen at times and the most important thing is going to be grouping because if you're in group situation Kazuya will still have his crowd control ability from his e skill and it's rather good if you do hold down his e skill and furthermore Kazuya personal damage is actually also very good because not only does his e skill hold do very decent damage but his elemental burst and on top of the ability to swirl different element does stack up to be very decent damage overall from Kazuya's side whereas Zillinen is more toward you know helping you with resistant shred and then doing the initial e skill and burst cast for damage but later on for your healing on top of that so those are the difference more or less going to be the between Zillinen and Kazuya and overall as we can see Zillinen is going to be a lot easier for you know your team to be running with rotations if you can't always know how to double swirl with Kazuya so those are going to be some of the notes that I have on Zillinen at this point in time guys now we're going to start touching on some of the best team that Zillinen can be slot in for the DPS character that we have in the game right now. I'm going to be trying to cover all of the DPS character that can work with her. Now if you don't see any of the DPS character that's either going to be them not applicable with Zillinen being on their team or you know they just kind of you know too bad and don't have enough player using them so I don't mention here. But obviously if you do have any other extra team that you can be used after the video feel free to leave it down in the comment section and obviously I will get to you there. All right first off we're going to be looking into pyro DPS character and the first is going to be Alekino which she can be used on a Bennett, Yelan and Zillinen team. Now it's usually before Kaza is going to be here but as you know Zillinen is going to be a lot easier when used with Alekino considering that Alekino does generally have quite a long on field time with that extra five seconds of elemental shredding for pyro it does actually help your team's rotation quite a lot for hutao team you can run hutao farina yelan and zinilin sometimes you can consider using the instructor set here for zinilin but overall i think i'll just stick with the cinder city set so that you know i don't really have to switch set too many times around or i don't really have to build extra set though considering that this team focuses a lot on elemental reactions instructor set is actually very nice but overall if you want to just stick with the cinder city set then what you kind of want to do is you're going to be starting hu tower rotation with her elemental burst so that you can actually apply pyro aura onto your enemies and then you switch to zillinen to do her rotations and then afterwards to farina and yelan otherwise zillinen is going to be just buffing farina and yelan from the cinder city set and not very much hu tower but overall if farina and yelan on your team is very much invested then you can actually go with that route because yeah farina 
Arena and Jaylan does do an insane number of off-field damage. Next up, if you're still using Deluxe, then you can run a team with Deluxe, Bennett, Singcho, and Zillinen. Or if you want to have a lot of buffing, you can actually go with Kaza in terms of Bennett's place. A little bit harder to use because that team does require you to have a lot of energy requirement, especially on Kaza's slot. And obviously a lot easier with Bennett because especially if you do have a C6 Bennett, it does help Deluxe to have his normal attack to be infused with Pyro and get some extra elemental damage bonus from a C6 Bennett. Overall, that's going to be fine as well. Now for Linny team, you can run a team such as Linny, Dia, Bennett, and Zillinen. Considering that Linny is a character that can get interrupted quite a lot, Dia is the perfect companion here for a triple Pyro character team building for Linny, as then Zillinen is just going to be there doing her job, buffing and resistant shredding Pyro elements by a lot. Other than that, we have Yoi Miya as well. Now, I don't really have Yoi Miya to showcase here in this video, so you guys can just imagine Linny to be Yoi Miya, but her team can be something like Singcho, Farina, and Zillinen. If you don't get interrupted a lot, now obviously Zillinen can provide Yoi Miya a little bit of shielding, but unfortunately, you don't really have you know off field geo application, so shielding is not a thing on Zillinen many of the time. Therefore, if you want to have more a sustainable team for Yoi Miya, you can technically just use a Yoi Miya. That's Qingqiu, Zhongli, and a Zillinen team. And overall, that's still going to be a very good team as well, considering Zhongli is still a pretty good character with you know a bit of shredding, shielding, right? And that tenacity artifacts buff, which is still going to be very nice. Alright, if you're still in the mood for a Dia DPS team, then you can run a team such as Dia, Bennett, Kazia, and Zillinen. Basically, a team that focuses everything in terms of pushing out the maximum of Dia's DPS capability, because you have Bennett, Kazia, and Zillinen all focusing on buffing her damage overall a very nice team and comfortable team for a dia kind of like a mono pyro dps dia but again do remember that dia requires you a lot of investment and constellation investment as well if you really want to pull off this team and well obviously we can't forget about our lovely pyro catalyst character our lovely Klee. you can run her on a bennett farina and zillinen's team this team also worked for a yan fei as well very very similar in terms of usage so this team you're not going to be able to do a lot of vaporize like like if you have run a Singcho in Farina's place, obviously. But Farina does help with a bit of hydro application, so Klee will still be able to have her vaporized damage here and there. But obviously, Farina is a character that buffs your team quite a lot, so that is very much beneficial to help Klee to have more damage output. All right, moving on, we're going to be having hydro DPS character, or more like hydro teams. First off, we're going to be looking kind of like a child international team, which we usually have child, Shangling, Bennett, and Kazuya, but on this team, we're going to be swapping into Zillinen. Now, I would say overall, this team does work and it does okay number. If you're going to be using Zillinen on this team, you might want to focus a Cinder City buff on your Pyro element, because Shanley is going to be the character that deals the most damage here on this team as always. But overall, I do feel that Kazuya will still do technically better on this team compared to Zillinen, because Kazuya elemental burst can trigger child to Riptide, especially in a group situation. And that is obviously the strength of child's international team they are very good in aoe situation so without kazia elemental burst to help that out this team does slightly worse so still if you want to use zillinen into this team it's still going to be fine but many of the time i'll just opt for kazia next up we're going to be having an ayato team a vaporized ayato bennett shangling and zillinen team will do you very very well but if you want more of a you know speed run ayato team you can technically use ayato furina kazia and zillinen now the downside of this team is that Zillinen is not going to be healing you but this does not satisfy her burst requirement for it to be triggered the healing option but the upside is that this team obviously does you very good numbers of damage but if you want your Zillinen to actually heal then you can actually switch in Bennett in terms of Kazuya's place so Bennett will still be able to buff Ayato and Zillinen will be able to heal you as well overall a very nice team for Ayato other than that we are definitely going to be having a new Vlad team obviously once again Again, if you want to have a speed run new black team, you can run with Farina, Kazuya, and Zillinen. But obviously, that's not going to be too sustainable if you're up against a bisque floor that actually hits you like a truck. So other than Kazuya, you can technically slot in, you know, like Yai, Miko, or Fischl to help you with dealing more off-field damage, and overall, that's also very nice. Or if you're in a mood for a mono hydro team, you can run a team with Kokomi, Yelan, Farina, and Zillinen. Works perfectly as well. I don't really see much of a problem to that. Very easy team to run. 
Now, obviously, we can't mention a perfect high Zillian team without mentioning Molani, right? She's going to be running alongside with Shangling, Furina, and Zillian. This kind of like an updated team for Molani because we already know how good of a Zillian at buffing Nightland character because her passive actually allows you to have extra Night Soul Burst, which actually buff a lot with Molani's elemental burst as well. So, yes, I'm pretty sure Molani mains out there have been waiting for Zillian's for quite a long time. Up next, we're going to be looking into Electro DPS team build now there aren't much here as generally if you're looking into it for example if we're going to take kuching as an electro dps character the other team members you may want to run alongside with is going to be nahida Purina, and as well as zillinen you can't technically run an aggravate team if you're using a zillinen on an electro dps team because zillinen resistant shred doesn't apply to dendro so technically you're not going to be able to heal if you're using zillinen as a soul healer on your team now if you want to go with an aggravate root and you don't want Furina, you can technically go with a you know either a Baiju or a Yao Yao to help heal your team and then focus on having Kuching dealing aggravate damage and Zelina will still be able to help Kuching resistant shred but you know compared to a Furina you swapping in a Baiju or a Yao Yao that's kind of like a straight downgrade and I'd rather have Furina on her team now obviously this also applies similarly to Sino and Claran technically they will also want to have Nahida and Furina to be used on the team to have the best damage output other than that we're going to be having you know kind of like a raiden dps team and you can use characters such as yelan furina and zillinen obviously we already know that a raiden does so well and sometimes a lot better when she's used in a hyper bloom em build team but while well, if you want to use zillinen on a dps raiden team that's also fine yelan and furina is just going to be helping her out a lot with off field damage output so i find this team very fun to play as well then next we're going to be looking into cryo dps character it's been a while since uh, you know cryo character has some spotlight obviously once zillin is here it does help with you know team building for cryo character slightly as well take ganyu as a character for example you can use ganyu shanha shangling and zillin that would have been a little bit better if zillin does help with you know resistance to interruption or a lot more you know shielding at c0 so that ganyu can have a lot more comfy time but if you want to have a more comfortable time using Ganyu, you can run Ganyu, Shanha, Zhongli, and Zillin. And overall, a double geo team is also very good. Zhongli, yeah, still helps Ganyu out quite a lot, so that's not a very bad team. Other than that, you can actually use Ayaka and Ryo on a Shanha, Shangling, and Zillin team, and that's still going to be perfectly fine. They'll still have the Shanha and Zillin focusing on supporting their cryo damage number, and Shangling's just going to be there to help with doing a lot more melt, and obviously reverse melt for Ayaka and Ryo as well. Alright, next up, Geo DPS character are going to be have a lot of fun time as well because rarely do we see or have a support character that directly buff geo characters and now as Azelina is here Navia as a character is going to be very happy because her update team is going to be Farina, Bennett and Zelina. Obviously now Navia has specifically three very good support characters to buff her damage numbers by a ton and then Zelina being here as an extra geo character to have geo resonance for Navia is just absolutely amazing for her. From the look of it I feel that Navia is the character that has the most buff when Zillinen actually came into existence. Other than that, if you want to use Chiori as a DPS character, you can run Chiori, Goro, Zhongli, and Zillinen team. Now, I don't have Chiori to showcase here for you, so you can just imagine Albedo as Chiori here. Now, Chiori, you technically want to have a Zhongli on her team because in order for her team to have another Geo construct, Zhongli has to be here because Goro nor Zillinen do have Geo construct, so that's going to be something you have to keep in mind. Other Geo DPS character you can run, for example, like Ito, Noel, Ningguang, can run on a Goro, Furina, and a Zillinen team, right? Very good team for them. And then if you're looking into a Zillinen DPS team, obviously I don't think many of us are going to be using it, but if you're interested in that, then you can run Zillinen, Furina, Goro, and a Zhongli team. Overall, that's actually very good buffing support character for Zillinen DPSs, especially when you have a Goro at a C6. Yep, overall, that's going to be helping your Zillinen. And DPS damage number by a ton. So overall guys I think those are going to be some of the DPS character that can be used alongside with Zinnin. I think I tried to cover them all. If I did actually miss any of the other characters feel free to leave it down in the comment section. I know that there are some 4 star out there that I can you know, talk about as well but you know those are some of the 4 star characters that not many of us use nowadays so I don't actually touch on them. So as you can see Zinnin is actually a very nice addition to the Genshin Impact support meta. 
because Kazuya has been carrying a lot in the past and now he has to have some rest or you know he can be used on you know your other extra team in the abyss if you do miss out on you know very good support character guys that's everything i have to say about Zillion's best team if you have any extra comment feel free to leave it down in the comment section that i'd love to discuss with you there again guys if you're deciding to pull for Zillion yet you are missing out on premium champs don't forget to check out loot bar as i'm sure they're going to be helping you out a lot i really appreciate you guys staying with me to this part of the video guys and with that i wish you a super day and i will catch you on my next video